Now, body count was certainly one of the most popular modes, especially in ranked games, but the majority of modes are objective-based. In each of these game modes, you'll be dealing either with fixed objectives, flags, or with mobile objectives, balls, that can be pushed by units. You capture and hold an objective when only units from your team are near it. Flag captured. Ball captured. An objective is contested when units from multiple teams are near it. Captured. Flag captured. Generally, at the end of a game, teams are ranked by how many objectives they hold, with ties broken by which team recently held more objectives than the other. The game will end when time expires or when all teams but one are eliminated. But if an objective is being contested when the game end is triggered, the game continues in sudden death mode until there's no more contesting. This can go on for a long time, so it's best not to count on the game ending when time expires. So, the modes are, in Last Man on the Hill, or Steal the Bacon, there's a single objective and you want to be the team holding it when the game ends. So to help demonstrate how these game modes flow, how they work out in practice, I'm going to do a little bit of Telestrator action here, using the minimap, on a few actual games, just covering a subset of the game types. This one is a Last Man on the Hill game on the map for Carnage Apply Within. If you haven't played Myth before, Carnage has these low lands around the outside, a uh, pit in the middle, which is where the flag is for Last Man on the Hill, and then some kind of hills and ridges surrounding the middle here, and various fords across the uh, river at, at uh, different points. It's got five starting locations. In this particular game, we have all five of them filled. It's a uh, five-man free-for-all. So once the game starts, uh, the immediate thing you want to do if you start in the middle is bail out to some higher ground. So I chose the northeast section here. I've set up on the hill, put some ranged units on a ridge, and I'm immediately facing the light green player who came out of the northeast. So I poke at him a little bit, which annoys him enough to come charge up the hill at me, which means I have to deal with him. Now while I was doing that, the cyan player over here has moved his ranged units onto that ridge. So then we have to have that fight out, because I can't let him just sit there and, and rain down stuff on me. So at this point, um, light green is pretty much out of the game. Cyan and Cyan and me have traded a few units. Black has been in a little bit of a fight with Dark Green. Dark Green, though, is, is kind of sitting pretty down here, mostly out of the range of the rest of us. So once I finished uh, working on Cyan, I sent my ranged units over there to make sure he couldn't just sit there. And that encourages Dark Green to come into the center. Now at this point, all the units have all of the uh, other teams have pretty much piled into the center around the flag. They've got this scrum going because the the game time is winding down, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, since people are contesting the flag, the game isn't going to end right away. So I can afford to wait just a little bit, and then once I see a good opening, I can come in and push them off the flag. Like that. So most of the other teams have been killed. Dark green is still in the game. Kind of hard to see with this color scheme, but I've got a little wall holding them off the flag. So that keeps the flag in my possession long enough for sudden death to expire, and I win. So you can see I actually captured the flag with only three seconds left to go on the official game time limit. But that's not as really close as it might seem, because since the flag was being contested, the game would, would continue until someone held the flag for a few seconds uncontested. This is a game of Steal the Bacon on the map, I'll Dance on Your Spiderweb. And Spiderweb is sort of an inverse of Carnage. It's still got the, the low-lying areas around here, but the center is a hill rather than a pit. So it's kind of defensible, but if you stay up there, you'll be surrounded. And uh, like, like the last Man on the Hill game, the objective starts in the middle. But since this is Steal the Bacon, the objective is a ball, and it might get pushed somewhere else on the map. So the game starts up, and people are just kind of scouting each other, trying to see if people are paying attention, sending out some lights. At this point, I've decided to see if I can uh, sneak up the hill in this direction, but Green is, has put some units there to block me. However, since green has shifted over this direction so much, purple is attacking him from the other direction. So they get into a fight. And green is kind of depleted and distracted at this point, so white is going to come right up through the main entrance there and try to uh, run away with the objective. And he's going to end up pushing it off the back side of the hill. So now the objective is kind of floating in the river here, uh, being contested by multiple teams. Time is getting a little low, so I've sent my slow units here to block white, and some of my faster and power units out here to try and perch on the hill and see if I can swoop in and get the ball at the last minute. 
So White and I kind of had this running battle across the hill. White's pretty much out of the game at this point. The only other team that's seriously in the game is Black, who has as many units as I do. But uh, I've got a couple of Solus, and the ball is out here in the river. So I'm going to send some Solus to capture the ball and push it into deeper water, and send the rest of my units to block Black from the ball. So that's the end of the game there. I've got the possession of the ball, and time expires. In territories, or captures, there are multiple objectives. An early game end can be triggered by one team holding all of the objectives. This is a game of territories on the map, the desert between your ears. And desert is a big map, mostly flat. Uh, it's got some bumps and features here and there, but the main feature is this water that divides the map in two. So there's this bridge across the center and then a ford to the south and the north. There's lots of ways to approach a two-team map, depending on how many people are on your team and how well you know each other. So our team on the right side here, I was captaining a couple of low-ranked guys, and we didn't know each other. And I knew that the other team was a couple of high-ranked guys who played with each other pretty well. So I wanted to keep things simple. I gave a lot of the units to my two teammates and told them to just kind of take a juggernaut around the map in this direction. I didn't want to go to the bridge because I knew that the high-ranked guys would be there quickly and they would be good at bridge fights. And they would actually probably be better than us at fighting in general, so I wanted to avoid any of our units getting into outnumbered or, or probably even equal-numbered fights. So I just sent the main army this way while I took some smaller, faster groups and kind of trailed around in the backfield to deal with some enemy scouts and make sure that we kept some flags captured. Uh, the problem with a juggernaut strategy is that you can easily end up not having any flags, so we didn't want that to happen. So, kind of unusually for Desert, uh, we ended up basically trading sides. So you see that me and some of the enemy scouts poked at each other a little bit up there, but the main forces have ended up on opposite sides of the bridge again. And time is getting a little low at this point. So, I asked my teammates to go ahead and take their army and just pile it across the bridge. You know, not worry about any particularly uh, finesse attack, but just pin the blue guys here, because we could see from our scouting that they had by far the majority of their army still sitting here at the bridge. So if we could pin them there, then maybe my fast units could pick up enough flags for the win. So there we had the bridge fight. We pretty much got destroyed. But um, my scouts and their scouts have fought for this northeast flag, and we won that. At this point, they still have the 3 versus 3 tiebreaker victory in hand, because they had more flags more recently than we did. But what they don't know is that I have some warriors heading to the southwest flag as well. So right as time expires, I can test that, and then capture it. And we don't really have hardly any units left at this point. But it's the end of the game, and what we do have is four flags to there too. So you can see we really got destroyed in combat. We had 10 survivors to their 37. But that's not what matters. What counts is the flags. So the last game that I'm going to show on this um, this Telestrator here is a game of captures, and we're back on the spider web map. This time there's only four players, so one of the starting positions is left empty. In, in this case, it's the upper left-hand corner. So captures is a lot like territories, but since the objectives are mobile, what people tend to do at the start of the game is uh, tag some balls and bring them back into defensible positions. Now, Dark Red has chosen to bring his balls back to the hill, which is maybe a questionable choice. Uh, so like I said, when I was talking about Spiderweb earlier, this is a defensible spot, but you're going to attract a lot of attention there. Uh, Blue is kind of the odd man out. He only has one ball at this point, and I'm about to take that away from him. So Blue is going to end up kind of roaming the map as a spoiler, and looking for someone else's balls to take away. Green is going to try to sneak a fast unit in here and take one of Dark Red's balls, which he does. And I take it away from him, but Dark Dark Red is going to send out a pretty big force to go ahead and recapture that and pull it back to the center. So time is running out at this point, and people are looking around uh, to find which balls they want to capture. I've just lost this one in the east here, so I'm looking really closely at these three in the center. That looks like a good stash to grab. Blue is looking at this as well, so at this point I just have kind of my fast offensive units out here. And I decide that they're not going to be able to win the fight against both blue and dark red, so I need to take the risk of leaving my home home balls undefended and pull all my army out here. And so I do pretty well at the center here, but what I don't know is that green, after taking this ball in the east, has sent his units uh, towards my undefended balls. Now green is going to lose this one. I think there's a white blast that 
knocks everybody off of it while it's still contested. So that brings him down to three, but he's going to capture his fourth ball right here, right before I grab the center three, which brings me to four. So he wins. He has the tiebreaker since he got four balls before I did. This is kind of an, the inverse of the situation in the previous game, where I had a lot more combat kills than Traxxas did. But that's not what matters in captures. Flag Rally and Scavenger Hunt are somewhat similar to Territories and Captures, except that once you capture an objective, it permanently increases your score. So you don't have to hold an objective unless you want to deny it to other teams. Finally, in Capture the Flag or Balls on Parade, each team starts with at least one objective already captured. If a team gets into a situation where it is not holding or contesting any objective, then that team is removed from the game. Well, that's, that's it for the multiplayer introduction. Hopefully we can have some multiplayer games later, and maybe post a few movies of those. I'll play us out with one of my favorite sudden deaths from a Last Man on the Hill game. See you next time! Flag contested. Incoming! Sudden death. Yeah! I got Stand clear. And stay down. Flag captured. Flag contested. Get out of the way! Incoming! And stay down! Flag captured. Player eliminated. Flag contested. Flag contested. Player 
eliminated.